Well, they say the worst storms can bring out the best in people. Certainly the case involving one veteran living in Newport News. He had so much he wanted to give to Florence victims, he had to call for backup to help. Tonight on your side, Asia Tolliver joins us with his story. Asia. Well, Ben Landrum was inspired after seeing a post from the York Pocosian Coastal Sheriff's Office about donating to the hurricane victims in North Carolina. So he went to a nearby Walmart to pick up a few things, but he left with a whole lot more than he expected. It all started with this Facebook post, a call to action for people to help our neighboring states out in the wake of Hurricane Florence. It was something that hit close to home for Newport News resident Ben Landrum. I remember because uh, my sister went through Harvey last year and she had a hard time herself and her family and uh, she had a lot of help from people outside you know were donating things and it's taken her in fact she still isn't back in her home yet inspired by the post this wheelchair bound veteran enlisted the help of his friend david and headed to walmart to grab a few things to take to the donation drop-off location but he walked out with a whole lot more the, the cars multiplied <laughs> i thought they're like they were like rabbits Nearly 15 full grocery carts later, they were ready to go. And David said, this is like going to get a whole onion van in my truck. I said, okay, we're going to need help. So he made a call to 911 for his emergency. He asked us if we had any equipment that we could come down, or a van to come down to help him um, get some of the equipment up. So we sent two of our people down. But that didn't cut it. Five deputies and a cargo van filled with items later, everything had finally made it here, ready to be taken to those who need it most. Arby's owner Patricia Satimo says she was at a loss for words when she found out nearly $2,000 in items had been dropped off. Money Landrum had saved from his disability checks. I got here and I was overwhelmed, actually. I cried quite a bit coming here because it is overwhelming. But Landrum says he doesn't want this to be about him. It's about Christ. It's about showing God's love, God's uh, goodness and grace to others that are in need. York Pocosin Sheriff's Office officials are hoping to give back to Landrum. They're asking for help in getting him a new wheelchair since they notice his was pretty beaten up. If anyone out there can help with that, please contact them. You can also find more details on where you can donate in York County on wavy.com. I'm Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side.